Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Cocos 2DX multi-device tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to design assets so they work well on iOS de devices, Android devices, Windows devices and any other sort of device that you're going to be using. So in the previous tutorial we showed you this landscape template, the portrait template is the this rotated 90 degrees, but we're going to be working with the landscape template for now. And basically when you create your assets, aka maybe a button, maybe a menu title, also it could be a player, obviously that's probably what it will be most likely, it could be non-playable characters like an enemy, it could be objects within the game, so if it's a brick breaking game, it could be the paddle, it could be the board with the, the bricks uh, and what have you. You want to design them so they all fit within this red rectangle, simply because if they don't all fit within this, and let's say they fit within the yellow one, which is the iPad ratio, yeah, it might look great on an iPad, but when you try and put it on an iPhone or an Android device, on, so, so, uh, on lower end Android devices, certain bits of the assets will be clipped off. That's what you don't want because they're important. It's not like a background where if something is clipped off, a lot of the time it'll be A okay. It can be an issue so you want to design it so it all fits within the red section and when you design it in terms of size you want to just design it as big as you can simply put so I'm just going to create a new file and I'll put 2048 by 2048 if you can design it at this sort of size that is fantastic at the bare minimum we recommend that you size it or you make it so it's designed for an iPad retina so that way you can size it down to iPhone and iPhone, I mean iPhone Retina, iPhone 5 Retina and iPhone and the Android devices will be covered as well but if you have a high resolution it covers future devices which will be coming out with higher resolution it also covers promotional stuff as well so maybe posters, banners etc which usually require or can accept a huge resolution asset so you'll be able to use it for that as well again other than 2048 by 2048, this is assuming that the object or the asset I'm creating it has a square-like nature. It might be really rectangular, so you might do, I don't know, 2000 by 500. But either way, design it so it fits for an iPad Retina at the bare minimum. But anything bigger will be great. Obviously, if you start doing them really big, 4000 by 4000, 8000 by 8000, etc., some computers or lower end machines will lag because they can't handle that much um, processing. But if you have a high end machine or your machine is capable of handling high resolution images, then create them as big as possible, then just size them down. Obviously, I can't tell you how big you should size them down to because it depends on your asset. But for example, if we design this and we wanted for the iPad Retina it to be 1024 by 1024 which would basically be it would start there end there and go down to about here or so so it would be like a, a square like that then for the iPad the iPhone retina and iPhone 5 retina you will do a quarter of that resolution or half the width, half the height, so 512 by 512. And for the regular iPhone, you do 256 by 256. Again, the general steps when you design it, design it as big as possible. When you size them down, size them down to an iPhone retina first. And even though the red rectangle here is actually an iPhone ratio, it's, it's just a ratio, that's all it is. This is this entire canvas is actually based on an iPad Retina um, resolution. So if you design them and they all fit within here, that means you've got an iPad resolution assets sorted. Again, like I said, make sure they fit within the red rectangle. Then size them down for iPad, iPhone Retina, size them down again for iPhone. One last tip, when you actually save files, in Photoshop and I'm pretty sure game panel the tools that have something similar don't do save as and then do PNG for example what you want to do is a file save for web this used to be called save for web and devices if you have an older version it probably still will be but click save for web or save for web and devices and just save it like this 
any of these properties unless you actually know what you're doing don't change it it'll be fine but what you will find is if you do it this way you will get higher resolution or better looking images we noticed this when we was creating a game a little while back and the actual icon didn't quite look as good as other icons on our iPad. We tried it on an iPhone Retina, we tried it on an iPad Mini and an iPad Retina, but it just didn't quite look right. Um, even though the actual resolution of the icon, raw icon, was huge, we had a look and we found if you do save for web, it gets better. But that's not just icons, assets in general, so even the background as well. Also, if you're creating websites, obviously this for the web, save for web. So that's it, those are the processes and um, steps for creating assets for multi-device support. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to actually implement the multi-resolution code. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.